this one is one of the beautiful and important question, right? So to understand this question, first of all, keep this integration out and just focus on the function. Function is one over cos x minus a cos x minus b. Can you reduce this in a form which can be integrated easily? So what we are going to do is there are two terms. First of all, look at this. Just play a little with this question. We have x minus a is one term. And the second term is x minus b, right? Of course, cos is there, no problem. But these are the angles. If we subtract these two, we get something which is uh, free from x. You see, x minus a minus x. What do you get? x minus a minus x plus b. So actually, this minus a plus a is gone. You get b minus a. So now we are playing with b minus a. So what we are going to do is we are simply taking this function cos of uh, x minus a divided by cos of x minus b. So we were getting b minus a, weren't we? So we are going to multiply and divide this function by b minus a and of course sine of b minus a yes now you say why are we going to multiply it by sine of b minus a sine of b minus a in numerator and uh, in denominator as well in denominator as well as in numerator right so this is we are keeping out but here we are writing inside sine of b minus a divided by denominator as it is cos x minus a cos x minus b. Now look how will this help us. The numerator part uh, which we saw in the starting we were playing with b minus a we were actually getting as x minus a minus x minus b yes this idea. So now in place of b minus a we are going to write the same thing. In place of b minus a, we are writing, going to uh, write x minus a minus of x minus b. So this thing now can be written as 1 over sine of b minus a as it is. Okay, this is a const this is constant. b and a both are constant. So sine of a constant is a constant. Now this, let it be outside. And inside we are playing game. It is sine of, let's write in capital bracket, sine of x minus a minus x minus b. Sine of x minus a minus x minus, actually this is sine b minus a it can be written like this also. We added x subtracted x divided by denominator as it is, cos of x minus a and cos of x minus b. Remember, we have not done anything uh, relating to integration. We are simplifying the function or we are actually transforming the function in a form uh, where we can apply integration easily. So now sine a minus b in numerator. So we can apply that formula. One over this uh, one over sine of uh, b minus a as it is. Okay, no problem. And this is sine A cos B. That means sine of X minus A. Sine A minus B is sine A cos B cos of X minus B minus sine A cos B cos A. A is X minus A. And sine b, sine of x minus b, bracket close, divided by cos of, cos of x minus a and cos of x minus b. Now we are going to split the part which is uh, in the numerator, right? So can I make some space here? So what we are going to do is, next, we are going to write it in this way. 
1 over sin, 1 over sin, b minus a as it is. We are going to write this. Sin a cos b divided by means sine of x minus a cos of x minus b divided by cos of x minus a and cos of x minus b minus the second part, this part now. And uh, this is cos of x minus a times sine of x minus b divided by denominator as it is cos of x minus a and cos of x minus b. All right. Well, we need some more space. Can we borrow some space here? All right. We yeah, are just writing here so this is uh now you can see easily this cos x minus b x minus b is getting cancelled cos x minus a x minus a getting cancelled so far we have reduced our uh, this function in a form where we can apply b minus a as it is being constant can be written outside and inside now we are getting sine theta by cos theta which is 10 of 10 of x minus a and minus sine x minus b means 10 of x minus b and we are done so this was the main part of this question reducing this form in a form where in applying integration becomes convenient. Means we, this cos x minus a, cos x minus b was in uh, denominator and they were multiplied and we changed that form in this form, 10 of x minus a minus 10 of x minus b. Now integrating this function is same as integrating this function over here. So if you are asked to integrate this question number 22 means you are in asked to integrate this. Now, can you write i is equal to? So, your integration i, we will create some space here, and your integration i would look like yes, here. So, integration question number uh, i for this question number 22 would look like integration of. 1 by sine b minus a, we can write out sine b minus a, this is outside, integration of 10 x minus a minus 10 x minus b. And integration of 10 x will be, now since you are applying the integration sign, so we will write dx also. And integration of 10 x minus a minus 10 x minus b, all right? So, can we write it here? 1 by, okay, let's write it here. Our form was 1 by sine of b minus a. I hope you remember. Yes. And then integration of 10 inside. We had integration of 10 of x minus a. You can see it. Yes, 10 of x minus a and then minus 10 of x minus b, all right? So one over sine b minus a, integration of 10x is log, log of sec x, sec x minus a, and uh, minus integration of, again, 10x minus b it was, so it will log of sec x minus b plus c, right? That would be your answer. But we would like to write log a minus b as log a over b. So this question can be written as is equal to one over sine of b minus a and this part is log sec x minus a log 
sec of x minus a divided by sec of x minus b. You know, log a minus b is log a over b. Also, the sec can be written as one by cos. So if you want to write this in terms of cos, you can write, you can do that also. And in that case, your answer would look like this is equal to one over sine b minus a, sine of b minus a. And uh, this would be log, sec can be written one by cos, and this is one by cos. So cos x minus b would be in numerator cos x minus b would be in numerator divided by cos x minus uh, a that is in denominator plus c and that's your answer.